good morning and welcome back to the channel first things first how are we all doing i'm doing good because judging by the title of this video you've clicked on it to see this piece of kit now then this is an amazon cataros 500 s i believe so that means she's five meter it's trailed machine a uh, bit different from our vary disc three meter mounted machine uh, this was this is a demonstrator we haven't bought it just demo it trying it out and uh, so far I'm impressed the difference between this and the vary disc and it's something that me and dad are looking at going towards is that packer roller on the back um, that's just pressing everything down what I've worked uh, because sometimes I'll go over the stubble with a vary disc and then I've been over with a set of gang rolls which is two lots of work and she's doing it in one pass I'm going up every wheel in straight and now I'm going diagonal across the field anyway I'm here with my co-pilot Spud you ain't seen him for a while he's pretty big now in the cab but he's alright he's loving it he's loving it but yeah the main difference is that packer roller uh, and the ability to adjust the hydraulics on a spool valve. There's a little gauge there. We'll get out, have a walk around it in a bit. Um, I'll get Dad on it, and I'll, then I'll do some filming. But yeah, just sort of motoring on, seeing how it chops up different sort of stubbles, really. then we're doing 11.9 k so we're pretty quick we're covering five meters at a time she so does pull one way depending on what soil type you're on uh, i have learned that so i have also learned how to put an offset in this gps screen so um yeah so i'm sort of just having a play about of it basically why not it's on a bit of stubble um and yeah the the machine itself Oh, I can't fault it. Look what sort of job it's doing. Absolutely brilliant. So I've gone up every tram line and then I'm going diagonally across the field. Look, see? I know that means I'm making gore rows for myself, but it don't half chop it up lovely when you go crossways of what you drill. I was going to get out and show you around here piece of kit but it's just started raining and I've been bunged up with string for about 20, 20 minutes it must have been a whole twine of string wrapped around one of my discs so I had to unblock that uh, it's just started spitting about but nothing too serious gonna go and get a bit of lunch uh, whether we come back over to farm too or whether we do some barley stubble got some stubbles that's growing up green so hold far okay we've just had a bit of dinner the sun is back out we're gonna go on a different block of land now on some barley stubble try that out dad's gonna come down i think he's gonna bring the flower mower and then i'll get him on here and do a bit of filming of the cultivator but we got done uh harvest a couple of days ago and then we went and helped martin the neighbor out uh, we cut about, I think he had about 70 acre to do, so we had two combines in one field, so is I think I've got a video of it, if I haven't, but here's a video of it now. So with our combine and his combine we were cutting about 35 foot, which is a decent amount so we got done that in two days um, 70 acre in two days so yeah it's just cultivating now uh, the baler people got a few fields left to bale and clear up um, and yeah it, it all happens it all goes round again but the main thing is trick testing this cultivator out today that's how she folds up she's a bit top heavy um, 
that's not because you can lift it up and down on the wheels at the back the wheels are right at the back and yeah for these fen roads it's a bit wobbly wobbly but i'm so impressed with the kit i just love that roller on the back how it le levels it and leaves it firm and the electric spool valves for this job makes it easier as well but Amazon, they do make good bits of kit. You know, we had a mounted sprayer and the paintwork on that, that was a 20, 2014 sprayer before we had the Hardy. And um, yeah, the paintwork on it's just phenom phenomenal. This is a 2021 set of discs as well. She's not had that much work because it took me about 15 acres to shine the discs up on our soil, our black soil, so yeah. just come on this uh, spring barley stubble you can see what sort of job the machine's making i know she's got a bit of a squeak one of the scrapers is just catching one of the rollers i'll tell the uh, the salesman that before we um, hand it back uh, then i can sort it out for the next demonstration but she's just mincing it up uh, there's still a little bit of moisture it's making these sort of big bringing up these clods though but some of them just break up uh, it's gonna go we're gonna go over it and subsoil it and uh, and that's got a pack a roller a razor ring roller sorry which will press these clods press these clods back down uh, then it'll grow up green spray it with roundup probably power hour it in front of the drill well that's one way you can do it but this is coming beans this is coming beans so mince it up with this subsoil it and plow it for beans i don't like well me and dad don't like uh, minimum tilling for beans we like to plow it but you can see on this where it's a bit blacker making hell of a job from that to this this is how i like it turn it over we've got a good cultivator like that what's the point in just scratching the top there ain't no point we've got to bury all this stubble all this trash get it back into the floor and get the nutrients back into the soil turn it over but that is look how that pack of work pack of roll is working acting like a set of gang rolls and making that ridge and, and forming a pressed down bit of work the pack of roller is similar to what you have on like a sumo tree i remember i was on about it the other year but i think because there was a bit of straw in the wheelings in the corners you always get a bit like that the, the sumo trio the points would just gather up the straw but with this you just mince it up damp dull day today really started drizzling about but any sort of any more rain will help cultivations anyway so you got to look at it like that i mean to be honest it's still pretty dry in places if you ploughed this now i reckon it'd still be dry so a little rain wouldn't hurt i suppose but Got a little T614. I was going to put the 145 on that, but I'm glad I didn't. The 180's on it. I put the 145 on it, bless her. I think we wouldn't have pulled it, would we? No. Would you have pulled that? Yeah, you'd pull anything. Bless her. She's on the flower mower.
Dad. Wow. I think it's a very good machine. It's nice and heavy, especially this year. The land's a bit damp. Uh, sinking in nice, mixing the top, top up. Work rates quick. Great thanks for Pex for giving us the chance to have a demonstration with this machine. Yeah, it's uh, you certainly get across it. We've only been in here. What? Well, I went up and down the wheelings, and I think we've been in here what half hour? Half hour, I think. Yeah. 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 It's. Uh, I think it'd be an improvement. Uh, the improvement lot on the vary disc because. Uh, just yeah. because of that packer roller and the fact that you can almost force this into the floor because it's uh, hydraulic depth control. Um, but when we when we get it at the yard, I will just have a walk around, walk around it and show you. But everything's sticking to the tractor now. It just rained. I've always liked uh, like either the razor ring or the double D packer on the back. I think it's an uh, idea of a breaking up uh, any clods that's brought to the surface uh, and it just consolidates it back down again so that uh, you know everything germinates and grows. I've, I've always been a, a great liker of uh, the, the razor ring. Well, you like the Amazon kit, don't you? Yeah, paint works fantastic on Amazon. Well built, well made machines. Um, can't knock them. words from the old man there um, but now we've got more land and now like the windows for doing everything so short like just want to get everything cultivated once um, and then we're on to picking potatoes and then you know spray them around up might even get time to subsoil some fields before you know what's coming winter crops everything cultivated subsoil and everything's so short like the windows for doing stuff with something like this i think i worked it out eight or nine acres an hour you can do with this so yeah you can soon crack on and that's what i like about it i don't know how much it is if that's a question someone is gonna ask me not yet anyway i'm gonna get a price for it see how much our cultivator is worth as well um, uh, I imagine there's a, a, a base spec than this where you can have to get out and adjust the depth, which would be cheaper. Um, but say if there's a little bit of straw, I don't know where I've said this, but if there's a little bit of straw in a corner, you can just pile the pressure on, mix it all in again. Alrighty then, I'm back up the yard because it's raining quite heavily. Quite heavily actually, didn't, didn't talk of this, but I uh, don't know if I mentioned we've got the irrigator running anyway for the last time, just giving the potatoes a bit of a drink. Um, but yeah, just having a look around this big old set of discs on it. I don't know, I think they're bigger than the, what we've got on the Lemkin drill. But what I like about these is they're like sprung these rubbers um it's difficult to explain really say if one's in a tram line uh it'll go up and the others will stay like it'll contour the ground let's say it'll contour the ground so you have always got the discs whatever depth you're in in any any um circumstance i suppose um and yeah like i said 2021 machine she's fairly long you get that Oh, nearly tripped over the header, nice. Um, yeah, she's fairly long, she's fairly long bus. So I've got a 900 kilogram front weight on it as well. I need it um, to pull it. This is a T6180 that it's on. Um, I'm not in boost, so I'm not up to 180 horsepower. It says in the manual this is a 150 horsepower machine, but I think they ought to up it to 165, because I think that's what I uh, 
you need to pull it. Really, this is absolutely beefy and quality. The scrapers do a good job, just need to adjust that one that squeaks. Nice flotation tyres on there. Yeah, and like I say, I've, just, I've lowered it down on the floor just for safety reasons, uh, so it can't sort of leak and pivot out. Um, but she, she's heavy, she's heavy. When, when, when that's lifted up, it's a bit tip, tippy on the road, like I was saying, but she's a beefy bit of kit. And yeah, it, it's a good cultivator. It really is a good cultivator. It's something that we'd, uh, well, I'd definitely be up for, <laughs> for having a purchase of it, but it's all to do with the price. And um, a lot to say, it's, it's probably not something we're looking at getting now we're we're thinking of probably in the lines of a teleander or, or or possibly a combine uh, more land more to get round that's why i just wanted to try this out um it's by all means not a paid promotion video or whatever i'm simply doing my honest review of it uh, and it is a good machine I, the, the negatives are obviously the weight going down these fen roads um also i think it don't lift high enough when you come to fold it up it don't lift high enough sometimes the bottom discs when you unfold it i think yeah when you unfold it and fold it um they sometimes scrape the, the stubble a bit so it could lift up a bit higher other than that it's hell of a machine She's hell of a machine. You've seen it working. You've seen Dad drive it, and you see what he thought of it as well. And for getting over your land quick, for doing a quality job of incorporating stubble, straw, anything. Like I said, I've been on the bean land that had a lot of chaff, and because we chopped it, it just this worked a dream. Uh, depending on what sort of soil incorporation you want to do on your farm. This machine is brilliant. Really is good. I'm really impressed with it. Um, it works good with the hydraulic um, electric spool valve, sorry. Uh, and it works well and it looks the absolute nuts on this machine. You can't beat Blue New Orleans with Amazon green kit. It's just, yeah. Got my little, ah, oh, she's 800 kilogram. Little 800 kilogram weight, GPS. Happy days, yeah. I shall uh, perhaps do a bit more tomorrow with it, and then wash it up and uh, and give it back. I think they've got a couple more demonstrations with it, and that's yet again. That's thank you very much for G and J Pex uh, for giving me, giving me the opportunity and Dad to try this out. It's definitely something we'd look forward to, um, and. Yeah, yeah, we 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 got to consider consider it really because it is one hell of a bit of kit, and uh, yeah, a lot to thank the salesman Matt and Simon, the New Orleans salesman in our area. Um, and yeah, hope hope you enjoyed this video of uh, the Amazon Cataros 500.